blockchain you must have heard about blockchain people may have told many thing about blockchain according to me the single biggest advantage of blockchain is that it gives you a tamper proof database that is the advantage of blockchain for simplicity sake let's take a example here suppose you have bought a land so what happens you get the papers of that land and maybe the city municipal corporation also maintain the paper of that land which tell the who is the owner of that land because now here the transaction and this paper is between two parties only it can happen that one of the party modifies or fudges the record and then you can get into trouble now we'll take the same scenario the whatever the your land ownership record are there and let's assume they have been distributed with 100 people the same land ownership record which tells you that you are the owner of that land it is with city municipal corporation it is with you as well as with 100 other people so now if somebody wants to fudge that record it has to modify the data on those paper with those pa papers which are there with those 100 people little tough something like that happens in the blockchain so there what happens the data is stored in a decentralized way and of course it is encrypted there are various encryption mechanism are there so the data is stored on various node which can be 1000 which can be 10000 it all depend on that and uh, data which is stored also is encrypted so for somebody to fudge the record on a node suppose there is a we trying to crack the encryption logic he may be able to modify the record on a node or on the two nodes but then other nodes will reject it so unless all the nodes though i have taken example of 100 but you can think of it there can be many nodes so unless all nodes agree that data what they have is same that data is not pushed to the main place so if data is fudged at two places it get rejected by the other node and the chain is broken so this is how the blockchain work and that's why it is said that it is immutable as well as it provide the security now there is a plus and minus both of this so because this data cannot be fudged it means you cannot reverse or delete the data so once a data has been put for whatever reason if you have to change it you have to put another transaction which is called compensation transactions so a transaction which has been put on, on blockchain agreed by the nodes can never be deleted but uh, if you have to reverse it you have to put a compensation transaction which again all the nodes uh, should agree and for that the encryption mechanism works and then only the data get updated now encryption mechanisms are some of them are like proof of stake proof of work in proof of work it means uh, for each node they have to solve certain algo and then only data can get updated in proof of stake uh, depending on how many nodes are in you know they have certain weightage before they allow the data to get uh, updated on the main link so these are the uh, things of uh, blockchain now interesting thing is work on blockchain started in 1991 yeah that's true work on the blockchain started in 1991 in the name of digital ledger though uh, in 2008 and 2009 we heard of the digital currencies and the bitcoin because that time white paper on that came and the digital currencies in the form of bitcoin came but the digital ledger concept was there from 1991 onwards now it has gained more prominence so now <clears throat> as we understood that blockchains help you in providing the tamper proof database now for any database there are main three properties speed 
द सिक्योरिटी एंड द स्केलेबिलिटी सो दीज आर द थिंग्स विच इज द रिक्वायर इन एनी डेटा बेस नाउ इन केस इफ यू आर डूइंग ट्रांजेक्शन ऑफ अ वेरी लिटिल अमाउंट एंड यू वॉन्ट टू रिकॉर्ड ऑन ब्लॉक चेन इट विल बी बिकम वेरी कॉस्टली फॉर यू सो ब्लॉक चेन इज गुड फॉर हाई वैल्यू लो वॉल्यूम ट्रांजेक्शन्स विच कैन बी एज ए सेट योर आइडेंटिटी रिकॉर्ड बिकॉज लेट से योर बर्थ सर्टिफिकेट दैट विल बी वन एंड इट विल नेवर गेट चेंज सिमिलरली योर कॉलेज एकेडमिक रिकॉर्ड और मे बी द वोटर आई डी सो एंड और द लैंड डील्स ऑल्सो बिकॉज इट द अंडरलाइंग एजम्पन इज देर नॉट टू मैनी लैंड डील्स आर हैपनिंग सो हाई वैल्यू बिकॉज लैंड इज कॉस्टली एंड लेस वॉल्यूम बिकॉज लेस ट्रांजेक्शन इज हैपनिंग बट इफ यू स्टार्ट डूइंग ट्रांजेक्शन ऑफ डे टू डे वॉट एवर यू नो फॉर द स्मॉलर डिनोमिनेशन ट्रांजेक्शन इट बिकम्स वेरी कॉस्टली बिकॉज एज आई एव एक्सप्लेन द डेटा नीड टू गेट put on in an encrypted way in all those notes those notes to have to agree that's why it takes lot of energy and you know lot of work is required before it goes into this now along with the blockchain we need to know about two other concept also one is called a smart contract you can think of it a smart contract as like a again a functional logic if then else so if certain condition is met then other condition will become true and uh, with the help of a smart contract the decentralized finance is also coming uh, which is gaining prominence so in that the advantage is that because a smart contract contain the logics it can find out uh, you know whether the agreed condition whatever the thing has been agreed between two people if that is true and they find out uh, by something called oracles by which they find out whether that condition has become true or no then automatically that uh, program will execute so that is the smart contract you know which finds out through oracles whatever the agreed condition has met or not met and if met execute the program and the other important thing is provenance which is the data history so suppose if land is moving from person a to person b to person c to person d or more relevant example will be painting let's say a painter has done and you know, created a beautiful painting then he has sold to person a person a has sold to b and then c and d now this provenance record are there you know which are full proof so one can find it out when you get a painting is it a real authentic painting or it is a fake painting because with the help of provenance you can trace back that the original owner should have been the painter who must have sold to somebody if you find any problem in that it means there are some issues in that so for uh, provenance and smart contract uh, along with the blockchain is used in painting and many other those rare collectibles similarly as i said blockchain is getting used for high value low volume transactions which can be voter id int card college academic record land record so this is what is the blockchain if you want to know more about blockchain you can visit my website www.rathnamsingh.com thank you